So now let's take a look at uh, the sculpting tool inside of Cinema 4D. So in order to work with the sculpting tool, you can grab in any shape right here. So let me grab in my capsule right here. So I'm going to press NB so that I can see the details. And in order to for the uh, sculpting to work, you really have to increase the number of segments to a level of detail so that you actually have all of the details just like this over here. So let me just increase and there you go. So don't actually um, add in too many details. It might slow your computer down. But anyways, I'm going to work around with this much of height, tap and rotation segments. So now in order to access the sculpting tool, I'm going to go to the layout option right over here. So I'm going to expand this and you'll be able to access the sculpt option right over here. So once you go over here, the sculpting is on. But right now it's not active. Over here on the right side, you can see all the sculpting tools right here. It's not active because I haven't converted the object into an editable object, uh, object yet. So to do that, I got to press C on my keyboard. So over here, once I do that, you can see pull, uh, grab, smooth and everything else right over here. And each of them has their own set of sizes control, pressure control and everything. So you can see that there's a certain size here. If you were to increase the size, it increases the size. Increase the pressure, then it acts with more pressure right over here. So let's go around with pull. So let me just click and drag it and you can see that a bit of a pull is going on right over here. So a bit of pull and a bulge is seen. But if I were to increase the pressure and click and drag it over here, you can see that the pull is stronger. So I can actually just click around and you can see that that is how it looks. So you can sculpt in the way you wish uh, and give details to the module no models just like this as you can see this looks kind of like a rock now so you can see that this kind of looks like a rock and there you go that's grab so grab actually allows you to actually pull certain points over here you can increase this in size as well and then pull out the points just like this so push it in pull this out and so forth another one is the smooth so if you want to smooth out everything just go around and you can see that it smoothens out every details for you just like this so it smoothens out everything else just like this another thing is wax so you can actually go over here and you can see that you can wax it out so that is actually a smoothen uh, something like smoothening out as well so you can see you can wax out the models as well now the one is the knife which actually cuts out the thing so if i were to really increase the pressure you can see that it pushes everything inwards just like this so pushes everything inwards so i can actually uh, smoothen it out to remove the effect just like this. So you can see that you really have different models just like over here. So you can go over here on to flatten as well. So that really flattens out a part of the model just like this, as you can see. So it really flattens everything out. Another thing is inflate. So if I were to increase the size and use the inflate, some seems like a balloon inflating right over here. So it inflates everything out over here. So let me just use flatten over here. Let me just use smoothen to actually smooth this part out. And there you go, flatten out. That's inflate, which we look, take a look at. That's amplify as well. So if I were to increase the amplify over here, it amplifies the level of details. So it amplifies the, uh, amplifies the existing details, as you can see right here. The fill one actually fills up. So it actually smoothens that out and fills up the, uh, the places that is way inside as you can see so it fills up repeat actually repeats out the settings right over here so you can see that it has sort of setting right over here as well and scrape right here actually scrapes everything down just like that and this is how you can model anything you want and add in details over to your models by using the sculpt tool so that is how you can use the sculpting tool inside of cinema 4d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe